I am going to be analysing Tesco's Food Family Living magazine, which is also the autumn edition. I am going to talk about the first four pages of the magazine in depth and detail. Starting with the front cover, as this is the first thing the audience sees. Immediately we are drawn to the masthead, which is Tesco. It is located on the top middle of the page, in capital letters and an orange font. This supports the main image on the magazine, which is a vibrant orange pumpkin. The font also matches the name of the store. This has been done deliberately to appeal to the loyal customers of Tesco. Above the masthead are three words, food, family and living. The words are in white which stands out from the masthead. This easily illustrates to the audience what the magazine's genre consists of. The main image is a carved pumpkin which represents the autumn edition, which is accompanied by the main cover story which is found above it. Again it is in a white font to match the house style. On the top left of this magazine is the buzzword. In this instance it is a free logo. This draws the audience's attention as it is simple but effective. Along the right hand side of the magazine is the strip. At the top is the date of when the magazine was published. Tesco have anchored the features in the magazine in a vertical order with the images and cover lines. Tesco have put their website on the top middle of the magazine in a smaller but bold font. This has been done purposely to allow the audience to have access to the magazine's company using a different media platform. The audience can also access the magazine via their Tesco app. They use a pub to promote their app. Moving on to the second page of the magazine, it is a Bailey's chocolate drink advert. This is a stereotypical advert in a food magazine because it is related to the genre of food. The colour scheme of this advert is black and blue with hints of gold within the slogan. The advert is very dark. This matches and represents the product it is advertising. This page is recognised as an advert because the main image is large and in the centre of the page and the slogan is a short sentence located above the image. The third page of the magazine is not clearly stated but judging from the editor's letter and some of the contents it is a mixture of the welcome page and the contents page merged into one. At the bottom of the page there is information for the audience about the team, the social media platforms and a fine print about the distribution of the magazine. The house style of the magazine is simple, the editor's letter is in purple and black and the contents heading is in mustard yellow. This helps us clearly distinguish the editor letter and the content. The text is also easily readable due to the contrast between the light background and the dark text. Along the contents there are also photos with page numbers anchored on. The photos are more eye-catching than the simple text next to the numbers as they are big and colourful. The subheading of the contents are short and in bold with a description of what the page is about underneath. This makes it easier for the audience to choose what page they require to navigate to. On the fourth page, it is also the contents. This page is mostly focused on the large image in the centre left. The image is a young girl with a bat cookie and there is also what seems to be an orange drink topped with green to supposedly look like a pumpkin. On the right hand side of the drink is also a black lantern. This supports the autumnal edition of the magazine. In the left hand corner of the magazine, Kesco have also put a circular puck promoting the magazine via technological convergence. Again this page follows the house style of the previous page with the plain white background and yellow subheadings.